Good day everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fortune cookie. This is a uh, interesting shape just in time for Lunar New Year. It's a Chinese fortune cookie and we're going to use the style tool to make the model. Let's get started. Give the file a name and I'm going to pick my own template. I'm going to use millimeter and solid part. Okay, let's turn on the denim here. And I'm going to bring up a reference. Okay, so first thing we'll do is draw a sketch to define the oval size. Click and place a circle, make the diameter of 50 and we need to add a datum point at the center to snap our curves and also another point about here to snap our curves and turn on your datum point uh, display here and you have a circle and two datum points and we're going to start using the style tool Okay, so all right, we are going to use the arc tool and hold shift to snap it to the center datum point there and um, and just roughly place these diagonal lines to like a uh, pie shape. Let's accept that. Alright, next we're going to go edit this curve and we're going to delete half. So we'll do half and then mirror it. And I'm going to turn on um, control points and delete some more. Alright, now adjust the curve to make the, the circular shape. Okay. Alright, that's good. Now we are going to switch to the right view and then drag this point up to create a little opening here. And then I'm going to drag these up a bit as well. Um, my cookie will have a small opening at the front as well. So something like that. And then I'm going to the top view and just fix this shape. Let's go check the right view again, make sure everything looks nice and before we finish we actually need to make this normal normal to the bottom plane here. Make sure you click this plane so it blends down well and also this side we need to actually I'll add another point here and make this I'll right click on the, the line and make it normal to this plane so it blends across well and just double click the lines again Alright, it looks good enough. Okay. Alright, let's complete that curve. So we have that curve already. Now we are going to create a curve on a plane. We're going to click this plane here. Reference. Make sure we switch the plane to that one. We're going to draw a curve on that plane. 
all right so we'll go ahead and do this and just put the curve is going up down and to here just uh, do a rough curve and then we're going to edit curve and then we need to snap this point to this line and this point to the datum point we draw at the beginning okay so this curve here needs to go high about halfway of the overall shape so we drag this up a bit more so let's go up And this line we need to make it normal to the bottom plane so it blends down to this plane. And it looks about right. And we're gonna accept that. Alright, there you go. And let's have a look at the cookie here. Now we're gonna define a line on on the top plane. We draw a line here. Let's go to top view and the line needs to go up and then across and I'm going to snap, actually I can't snap now. Alright, we'll go edit curve and turn on snap and snap it to the end and this we need to snap onto that point. Okay, and let's add a point to this. This curve we need it to be normal to the right plane, so we set this normal so it will blend across with the surface when we mirror it. Then let's get to the top and let's have a look at the picture here. We need it to make like a Y shape and let's make this this uh, this is a tight fold, so I make it go in a bit more and let's finish that looks like we're nearly finished the last thing we need to do is add a one more curve just draw a line okay let's switch uh, let's turn the plane curve off we need this curve to go anywhere all right place a point here and another point here Alright, it's not snapping, we need to go edit curve and then snap it on. And basically this curve we will need to um, turn on degree and make it similar to the curve next to it. And I need to set this to be normal. Click on this plane and then it will be normal, it just um, adjust to be normal there. Okay, let's add one more point here and we'll make it similar to that curve there. And then always check on the right view, make sure it's about the right shape. We just want a, a simple curve like that from the side view. And there you go. Alright, the last step, let's make the surfaces. To make the surfaces, we need to click on the surface tool and click around the four edge make sure this is normal make sure that's normal and then we'll accept that and the next step is tricky you need to make sure you click the right order and if I were to do it this way it seems to be blending nice and it's tension here as well but sometimes it makes some strange uh, blends like if you if your first curve is here it might not turn out right so just try different orders and uh, get uh, it will have different results so just make sure this is normal it's normal blend there it has a tangent blend tangent is a smooth blend and everything seems to look fine. All right, now, yep, that's pretty much the shape. And I'm going to mirror this and see how it looks. All right, so if you tap right click, it will select more surfaces. And then I'll select that and then I'll go mirror. 
and then I'll click this plane to mirror across. Alright, I'm gonna select this again, tap right click, and then I'll hold control to select more. So I'll select both those two and then I'll mirror it down. Alright, there you go, that's how it looks. See, have a look at the shape, Let's look at the picture, see it's mostly the same shape. We can make the mouth smaller if you like. But um, I'm going to merge it and make a 3D shape. So I'll select everything, tap right click to select both of that. Tap right click to select both of that. Hold control, tap right click, hold control, tap right click. And you need to merge this to make it one surface and then thicken. Thicken will make it a 3D shape. Alright, let's, let's make this 0.8. Sometimes the thicken won't work, you need to make sure, go in, check all the curve, it's not um, clashing on into each other. Alright, if it's not working, we let's try a smaller one, 0.6. Alright, there you go, that seems to be working. And finally, we'll just add a round, a 0.2 round. And uh, select oh, select the edges. All right. Okay. Let's tap right click to select a multiple curves, and we save that. Looks like it's mostly working well. If it's not working, we might need to make this a bit smaller. 0.15 Okay, so let's make this point 0.1 Yeah, just play around and it doesn't seem to be working now, so... Yeah, just go around, fiddle with that and it would be fine. It was working for me before. And last thing we can do is add a color. I'm going to use plastic matte. Pick the part model here to paint the whole thing. And let's match the color with the picture. It's like an orange color and it's more saturated and it needs to have more orange or all right there you go that's it our model is complete we can hide the drawing hide these lines alright yeah these lines to hide it we need to put on another layer but uh, there you go that's the tutorial hope you enjoyed the video have a nice day make sure you subscribe and like the video have a good day bye